himself. Concentrate on him and worship him. Come on, let's clap our hands and open your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 We come to bless him. We are grateful to be here one more day. Amen. We are here in celebration. While we're clapping, can we celebrate God for the pastor of this church? Amen. He's worthy. My good friend, it's so good to see you. And y'all keep clapping for Dr. Lewis. Dr. Lewis, our founder. Amen. Andre, the bishop, and Greg, and Malik, and everybody in their respective places. We just going to have a time of celebration today. Is that all right? I said, is that all? Y'all talk back to me, please. Amen. And long church doesn't equal good church all the time. Amen. So let's come. Let's do what we got to do. You know why you're here. Amen. I hope you came to give God glory. Because if not, we all could have stayed home. There are so many movies that I could have been watching. Y'all laughing, but Andre knows I'm so serious. Amen. So I'm blessed to celebrate the Lord with y'all today. We're going to follow this program as close as we can. And if there's any changes, we're just going to go along with it. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a scripture coming from Vanessa Freeman. And immediately following her, uh, back in Dennis is going to lead us in prayer. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said. Service tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we serve. 
And anybody excited? Somebody just shout out, I'm yours, Lord. Come on, say it with your heart. I'm yours, Lord. Amen. They're getting him together. Y'all remember the old one? I'm yours, Lord.
gentleman, amen, from the Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. Y'all clap your hands as he comes to minister to us. Amen. Amen. And I also meant to tell y'all that every ministry that goes forth today is our favorite. Amen. So y'all receive one of our favorites. Amen. Amen. Deacon Stephon David. Come on, somebody just bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody bless the name of the Lord. Come on, if God is great to you, somebody just sit on their feet and give God the best praise. If you're able to stand, come on, somebody just open up their mouth and give God the best sound of triumph and worship. Come on, if God is good to somebody just say, God, you're good. Come on, say, God, you're great. Say, God, you're magnificent. I mean, I can't get a glorified the name of the Lord. I'm going to just go ahead. Said, I love you. I love you. Somebody just 
say, He is my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. He is my worship.
the hands, everybody. We're moving. Mother Teresa's coming. Amen at this time. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. I'm almost scared to say something, but hallelujah. Brother, I don't know you. I don't know you. It's my first time laying, but you are an atmosphere changer. Hallelujah. I'm standing back there listening to you. Your atmosphere changed. You just shifted the whole atmosphere in this place. So that I say that to say this. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. <laughs>
Johnson, and then right after her, we'll have a selection from Pastor CJ. In that order, Minister Jordan Lucas, Sister Kia, Pastor CJ. Y'all clap your hands and receive them. They're our favorites. Repent. 
to heal the hole in your soul. Some people's actions are not because their spirit is right, but it's because the past has left a hole in their soul. May this wisdom help you get over your past and remind you that God wants to heal the hole in your soul. I have my sister Leandria here. She's going to help me share this wisdom.
Jesus. You wipe away your tears. You make the broken not. You're the answer to it all. Everybody, I said, Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm giving honor to God who's out of my life um, to the pastor of this house. I'm not sure of your name, man of God, but I know you're here. Praise him. Um, uh, to Andre, thank you for this uh, invitation. Um, I'm here on behalf of my nephew, uh, Javon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't give I didn't give the the Reverend uh he's a Reverend now. Reverend, Reverend Johnson. <laughs> Reverend Johnson, praise the Lord, Reverend Johnson. <laughs> nah, but I um tonight I, I noticed everyone was talking to you guys and facing you guys, but tonight is about them. So if y'all don't mind, can I just talk to them for a second? Me being a musician, I'm 37 years old. I've had the chance to travel across the world playing uh, drums for different people, being able to see different things. And I just want to encourage these guys tonight because being a musician in church, it could be kind of discouraging at times. I got y'all. I got y'all tonight. I got y'all. Y'all just got to give, y'all got to be my amen corner. Okay? Y'all got to egg me on. Yeah, you gotta hear how we see because I'm I'm representing for y'all tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm representing for y'all tonight because as musicians, what we what we go through behind our instruments is for y'all. We can't get up and we can't get up and dance. So sometimes when we hit that two, three, four, it's not just for y'all, but it's for us too. And as we're playing, we're ministering to ourselves and we're also ministering to you. So let me just get a chance to talk to them, part my back. So I want to say to you guys, be encouraged. Um, and the Bible, it speaks about the Levites. And the Levites of the, the, the temple just weren't musicians, but they were guards. They were judges. They did other things outside. But the main thing they did was kept the presence of the Lord at an all-time high. And what I noticed about us musicians is we get looked over, but we invoke the presence. Okay. Morrison, slow down. Okay. So what, what tends to happen is the enemy begins to attack you guys personally, whether it be uh, uh, mentally, whether it be physically, but the attack is stronger on you because it was a once a time when Satan was the chief musician. And the reason for the attack on all of you is because he wants your position back. It's not, it, it has nothing to do with your character. Yes, you are blessed. Yes, you are anointed. And yes, you are a chosen vessel. But the enemy is attacking you because he got kicked out and now he wants back in, but he can't get back in because he is over. It's over for him. So I say all that to say, I say all that to say, please don't let the devil win. You are God's chosen vessel. Y'all are God's chosen vessel, each one of y'all.
Great drummers, great drummers. Uh, Brother Marlon, 
you don't need no lessons from me. You can clap well. Clap well. But I thank you for your thoughtfulness and your kindness to me. I appreciate who you are. That is it. Okay. God bless you, my sisters. To Brother Andre Mitchell, 21 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the 21 years of service. Uh, to my spiritual goddaughter, bless you. Sister Ashley, man, bless you. And all the little ashes. God bless you. And to my fifth department, will you please give the child? W K M A will never die. It will never die because it continues to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
I have a story about Jay. I have a story about Eli. I have a story about Javon the boy. I have a story about all of them. Gotcha. Just give me another minute and I'm done. Um, Bird, Eli, Javon, and Jay are faithful people. They are very consistent. They are anointed by God. The one thing that I like about them is that they don't let nothing hinder their worship. I don't have nobody talking back because I'm talking to y'all. One thing that I like about you guys, forget them, I'm talking to y'all, is you have been faithful through the thick and the thin. I could call Bird and be like, Bird, I got to go somewhere. Bird be like, all right, I'll be there. I don't feel like going, but I'm going to go. Eli would just ask for the address. Javon would be like, Ma, can I go? Jed would say, I'm at work. <laughs> but they have always been faithful. And I applaud y'all because not a lot of musicians get honored for the work that they do. That's right. Y'all are anointed and it's not going to go unnoticed. But as I go to my seat, I'm going to tell you this. Keep on keeping on. Boy, you got me across this. I don't come to Jersey often because there's too many memories. But he said, Auntie, you gonna come? And I came here, I'm here for you. And I want you to be encouraged. Remember, Overseer put him on the drums. And he was the toughest man that you can imagine. He was stuck on me. It, I remember on the children's choir, so stay, like I put God first. Don't worry about the money. Cause money come and go, but your oil and your anointing never dies. It's not the accolades, but it's the anointing. It's the oil. Keep the oil. The reason why you did your beat is because you played the deliverance beat. Not everybody can play the deliverance beat. But it originated from our bishop and Kelly Green, your spiritual father. So keep doing what you're doing and let God be God in your life. I love you. And I'm always going to invest in you. You got me across the bridge. I'm here. And to the musicians, keep on keeping. Apostle Arma is going to come. Amen. We cut service short so we could get here. Amen. To support you tonight. Because you are somebody. Amen. In the kingdom. Apostle Arma is coming at this time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Even as we get to the end of the night, praise the Lord, everybody. You should never get tired of praising the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm just grateful, amen. Yes, I don't do this for many anymore. Amen. Because we've done it for so many years without return receipts. Amen. And so we don't do it much more. Amen. And we want you to know, not just Javon, but many of you have been with us in the Gospel Cafe and, and different things like that. And we've had some good fun together. Amen. And I just love God. It's coming back. We did a grand reopening and then shut it down again because of the pandemic. But um, we just love you. Amen. We believe in you. Javon, so many people have said so many nice things about you, but the only thing that I really want you to remember that if you let go of God, you will not have. Amen. Don't get so built up on what everybody is saying, all of the accolades they're giving you, because you want to keep that humility so God can keep giving the oil. Amen. And you want to be careful. Amen. Don't be so quick when somebody say, hey, come on over here. Not every place should your feet try. Come on. He gifted you for a reason. There's an oil that's on you that many don't have. And you must guard it with everything that is in you. So when your mom say no, listen. It's not that she's just trying to get at you and give you a hard time. But I'm telling you, you can't take your oil everywhere. 
can. All right? Unless you know you've got the strength and the stamina within you to cause your oil to make them oily. Come on, make them oily. All right. Come on. There's some people that your music is going to attract that we could never get to. Because you're young and you're passionate. Yeah. And you can't find that much more. Yes, he is. All of our drummers, all of our kids yeah. learn by being in church. Ain't nobody have no schooling, ain't nobody. We just want to love on Jesus and to these other musicians. Oh so my God, man. <laughs> just saying you're dating my age. Amen. But we just want you to know, amen, that we have blessed your hearts through word and you have blessed our hearts through music. Stay humble. You can't usher somebody where you've never been. So if you don't have a relationship with God, it's going to be kind of hard for you to take me to where he is and keep me there. I want to get past the doorstep. Amen. So we love you.
God put me in a position where I had to change. And then I lost my mother at the same time. But I thank God that I was able to stay home to bury my mother. She ain't had to see me in prison. I thank God that I ain't dead or nothing.